Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I want to talk about the first Q&A of Poxmons, which Poxmons is kind of like a monster taming card game. It's interesting, so let's go ahead and go through it. If you know it, you know it. If you don't, stick around, see what it's about, you know? So let's get into it. Now, to start off with the question straight up, it's when is release? Ah, uh, here we are again, the question that haunts our dreams. We aim for an early access release in Q1, maybe Q2 of 2021 so that means up to about march and possibly by like at latest uh what is it? it's gonna be july or whatever right? or june july 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 no june okay i had to think of months good lord only for windows pc it's always tough to predict the future though how do you want to monetize the game it's likely we're having a pay to enter cost as most games have this might change in the far future should there be a great player base and we might switch to a free-to-play system with the option to buy card packs or cosmetics with real money. Why did you pause development? We are developing this in our free time, which was very sparse recently. Expect more dev updates soon, though. So, what made you decide a card game themed around monster taming? We have a long history of liking Pokemon games, and in Mitchell's case, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, case, card games a lot. At the beginning, our card game ideas also seemed simple enough for a first try of developing a game together for the first time. A spoiler alert, it's really complex. <laughs> also, I'm sorry for butchering your name, and thank you for subscribing to my channel. <laughs> um, so about the gameplay slash mechanics slash features, is there going to be a career mode or a campaign? Sadly, no slash unlikely, but that would be really cool for sure. Right now, people would pay for a pure PvP or PvP or P PVE battle experience, no story, just um, attacking. I don't know. A game, uh, a campaign would make the Ploxmon's experience more fun and attractive, especially for Monster Tamer fans. This could be a Kickstarter goal. Uh, let's hope we get a big community to make this happen. Which go check out uh, their Discord. Also, uh, go check them out on Gym Leader Ed's server because he well. Was it Michil, Michili? I'm sorry, I'm butchering your name. I know it. One of the developers on this team, he is very active in that server, and he's actually extremely responsive. So, will you include a way to fight against friends? That's already implemented. You can create custom games and invite your friends. We have a ranked mode already implemented. You can rank in versus uh, versus player queue as you would, and uh, versus bots queue. So two rank modes actually. By the way, our rank seasons are really short, three weeks. You get small rewards after each week and a bigger reward after each season, which is after three weeks. Considering we have two ranked modes, this should be highly rewarding for each rank mode you get rewards. So it's two different. You can be different ranks in either mode, or you know, say you know, pretty much one mode has a rank, the other mode has the other rank, a totally different rank possibly. So how many ranks would you want to have in the game already implemented? You have bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, and something, something, something. Find out yourself. There's also unranked, if that counts, but I like the little graphics. It's like gym badges. I absolutely freaking love that. Is there a feature that you would want to implement but can't for some reason, and what would that feature be? As mentioned before, solo campaign mode. Uh, also, perhaps something with guilds, which, which was also an idea way back. What are your expectations on how balanced the game will be? Um, pretty balanced, probably, for four reasons. One, our tribute mechanic, a way to manipulate the boss to attack your or the other mo player's team, rewards you for playing monsters with a with the weakest stats as well as strongest stats. Plus, mons with middle stats tend to have the best abilities. See the picture below. Two, no card is like the other. Each Ploxmon is unique, so there's strictly no worse, better, version of a card i really like that because there's a lot of cards it's just wasted i always hated when it would be like search your you know deck for a card or flip a coin search your deck for a card if heads it's like okay what <laughs> um three lots of play testing was done four you never know what bosses will spawn to mess up your perfect strategy remember it is pvpve not pvp okay so it's pvp VE. <laughs> and let's look. You have Shelled Well. Uh, let's see. Attack of 1. HP of 2. Um, maybe it's a cost of 1. That's nothing. But then you have 
Pryotops, which is a cost of or HP of three, cost of I guess two, and attack. I don't know what the bottom right means. When attributed boosts your team for plus two plus zero until end of turn. And then you have Draconix, which is five HP, then five four. So you can see what they were talking about uh, right above. So will there be something like a legendary, for example, uh, a really rare card? Lore-wise, we have a few mons you can consider legendary, but in the game, they're just very rare cards. So we have common, rare, and very rare cards. Okay. About the Ploxmons team. How did how did Cairo, Cairo and uh, Michiel uh, meet? I'm butchering both your names, I'm sure. Sorry. At an esports community meeting at our university. From there, we got to know each other by playing League of Legends together. Cairo is a filthy, lowy, lux, Zoe main. Can you believe that? <laughs> Michiel, how, when did you start drawing? I always did that from a very young age. It was fun for me. Not as fun as today, though. Digital drawing is fairly new to me, though, and pretty difficult, but I think I improved a bit. What is your favorite Poxmon slash Pokemon ever? Michiel is Draconix, Cowleaf, Zigzags. Cairo is Zigzags. Uh, che, Kiko, Broca Lamb, and uh, Akira is Angry Corn. And then for Pokemon, it's Michiel Eselgor, Cairo Kingdra, Che, Eevee, Mimikyu, and Akira is Eevee and its evolutions. I like Cairo's uh, pick, definitely. <laughs> uh, what are the roles of the staff members? In short, Michiel Artworks UI Design, coming up with bow mechanics and abilities, social media. Uh, Cairo coding game client server and Poxbot, visual effects coming up with the features, Che and Akita, uh, community managers uh, assisting on social me uh, media and brainstorming with the devs. Can we see Michiel's dinosaur collection? Okay, I didn't know he had a dinosaur collection. I, I remember I still somewhere I still have some like that somewhere. So, about Plockspot. How did you guys get the idea for Plockspot? We wanted something cool for the fans to spend some time on while waiting for our actual game release. We liked the idea of having a monster-catching theme for the bot, too, since that's really not present in Plockspot's card game. We add new monsters to the Plockspot Discord game. Yes, but expect about eight more into release. And Cairo, what was your biggest problem with the development of the plo of Plockspot? Trying to prevent Akita from abusing the system. <laughs> so, you know, we get to see... Well, we got a lot of information, let's be honest. And we got to see some cool graphics. But that's all I'm going to be having for this video because that's the end of the Q&A. I hope that they have more Q&As. I'm interested in this just because it's a different take. It's not strictly a monster taming game, but it is a card game. And I've liked card games. I played Pokemon for a long time. I collected Yu-Gi-Oh! for a long time, but I never played competitively. And then I played competitively with Pokemon, uh, went to Nationals, and... Um, yeah, if it wasn't some, I'll be honest, if it wasn't some, like, petty drama stuff, I might still be playing Pokemon. Pretty, card games are extremely fun. That's why I'm actually interested in Poxmons. Anyways, that's all for this video. I'll be making more for you all. So, see you in the next one. Retro on.